My name is Max Winter. I am 21 years old. I am a senior criminal justice major here at Alabama, born and raised in Boca Raton, Florida, and I collect sports memorabilia on my free time. Sports memorabilia is any object, any, it could be a piece of paper, an index card, it could be a game used item, it could be anything in the world that has any signature, any real importance. I mean, it could be presidential documents, baseball cards, football cards, helmets, footballs, you name it, anything could be a piece of memorabilia. Anything that has any form of value, uh, signature, or usage in a special setting. Pieces. So the way that it starts out is that if you have a signed item like this ball, it doesn't have a certificate of authenticity, but there are reputable companies in the market that will look at it, analyze every signature, tell you the importance behind it, and give you an estimate about of what it's worth. This helmet was signed by Minka Fitzpatrick, he used to be in Alabama, uh, now he is on the Miami Dolphins, and it's worth about $200, I'd say the helmet itself is about $100, and then his signature has a value of about $100, so it, you, every autograph is worth a certain amount, it just depends on how popular the player is, how nice their signature is, how they're doing professionally, so anything could really go up or down in value. And, Nothing has the same value as any other object. All you need is a pen, a marker, anything that can have ink and for someone to sign. I mean, you can literally go get a piece of toilet paper, but if you happen to run into Tua, let's just say, you get his autograph on it, I guarantee you, you're going to find someone that's going to pay money for it. My favorite piece probably has to be this football. Um, it's signed by many of the 2009 championship team for Alabama. You got Nick Saban, uh, Dante Hightower, Mark Ingram, Julio Jones or some of the other ones. But other than that, we got this piece over here. This is a jersey signed by the legendary running back for the Cleveland Browns. His name is Jim Brown. Important to me because, like I said, I got my first autograph at a baseball game, and it was a very special, special time for me. And I really had a connection to these people that you see on TV, and you look up to who you want to be. And then my grandfather also was huge into memorabilia in the early 40s and 50s. He uh, was a fan of the Brooklyn Dodgers, and those are very tough signatures to get. And he has a bunch of them. So as I was growing up. He uh, was definitely teaching me and showing me the importance of it. There's also so many other like sections you could go into memorabilia. There's presidential stuff, there's sports, there's actors, there's so many other things and everything has collectability. So any item that you think is cool, do some research. I guarantee you someone out there is gonna have a demand for it and will pay money for it and it will ha every item has a story. So it's definitely something if you wanna learn a lot about history, and learn a lot about sports and just the overall buying and selling and trading market. Memorabilia is definitely one of the number one things you should get into.